All right. We have like one more minute and then I'll start. And then like I said, this will be posted on the page for anybody to go back to whenever y'all want to and you have time or your kids are bored or whatever. Mm -hmm. Bueno. <laughs> All right. So today, I don't have a pre-made one for y'all, but we're just going to make a fun kind of big um, ice, cream. ice cream cone that is going to have lots of color and texture and things on oh. it. So I, well, and Issa as well, we're using some cereal boxes that I cut, um, but you, you can use... Um, you can use watercolor paper. You can use cardboard if you have it. Um, I'm going to use this. So you need two pieces at least of whatever you're using because one's going to be the cone and then the other one is going to be for different um, sized um, ice cream scoops, however many you want to do. Um, I also have some watercolors here i have crayons i have the temper sticks again i got some tapes um and glue scissors and then i brought some extra little sparklies on the table too so that um so that uh y'all can kind of have fun with this so this is kind of one another one you can kind of use whatever you have around your house to kind of create uh different things uh, with your little ice cream cone and this is this is a good project for I mean I think it's fun to do but it depends on your kids really but it's good for lots of ages little bitties all the way up so my child here is 11 with me so she likes to make these kind of fun crazy projects like this so the first thing we're going to do on one of the pieces is you need to make a shape of an ice cream cone so you want it to be a pretty good cone. You don't want to have a tiny little cone because we're going to attach. We're going to attach. Can y'all see that? Hopefully you can. We're going to attach these scoops to it. So draw out your, your triangle. It's kind of a upside down triangle with a rounded top so that you can put those scoops in there. There it is a little darker. So that kind of looks like a snow cone right now. But snow cone. then you're going to cut that out. Sophia's in here also, by the way. She's just doing her own thing over there at the other table. Say hi. She, she made some clay things the other day so she's painting them so this is the the size that I have I mean it's a pretty good size I wouldn't go any smaller than this like this I mean, yeah here's this is a little smaller than mine but there's more pieces of cardboard the bigger the bigger the better. There are down there, but you'll have to cut one. But this is fine, you said it'll just have big ice cream scoops. No, can I pre cut it? Because mine's square. It's fine, it can be square. Um, I don't like square. Okay, so. so then we're gonna take the other piece of cardboard and you can use if you have any like I have this piece left over from my first one, you can do that. To make your ice cream scoops. Again, you can do one, two, three. I think the more, um, the better, because it'll just be more fun that way. You could use, if you have any different size round things around your house, then you could do that and do like three round scoops, perfectly round scoops, or you could do something like, I'm going to draw it out and then I'll show you all. Something like Issa kind of did this, kind of like a, a drippy effect. So, can y'all, I don't, I hope y'all can see that. The light in here is terrible. So kind of like a jelly ship, 
jelly ship. A jellyfish. Sorry, I can't talk anymore, guys. Um, jellyfish shape. And you want to do, after you do one, then you can make, you can make another one that's maybe a little bit smaller. Maybe kind of put your other one underneath it or on top of it so you can kind of judge um, the shape. And you can always fix it and adjust the, the shape a little bit once you, I'm gonna draw two more on this other piece here that are slightly different sizes. You can adjust them also when you're, when you're cutting them, obviously. So, I did two more on this one. So I have this one that's a little bit bigger, at least I hope it is. So I did three. Again, y'all can do however many you want. And then we're gonna cut those out. I made a big one, small one, and a mini one. To, you could even cut out like a cherry or something to put up top too. That would be super cute if you have extra materials. I need a very small circle. Here's my little cherry, and I might just use that side because it's red already. So here are my scoops here. So here's one, two, and three. So they'll kind of be like this, and then like this. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing here. I need to figure out how to hang this camera up above me. But again, I'm just learning all of this stuff. You'll see mine when it's already when So, it's now move your trash away, Isa. Don't glue it together yet. We're not going to glue it together yet. We're going to put some color on this. First, we're going to color the cone. I'm going to use some crayon with my watercolors. I have watercolors. Again, y'all can use whatever you have um, around to um, color this up. If you have acrylics, that's fine. If you have tempera, that's great. If you don't have any paint and you just want to color it with crayon, then that's fine too. I'm going to do some watercolor resist with the crayon on here and do, and Issa did that too, kind of all the way down and make like the waffle lines um, on the cone. And you can do this whatever, whatever colors you want. I want to make this super colorful and bright because we all need that in our lives right now. So here's one. And then I might add a, another color crayon on there too, just because. Now my little mini scoop. I'm gonna some do some white. Wine. White is a lot of fun with watercolors because it's like magic almost when you put the watercolors on top. All right, so I don't think y'all can see the white crayon. Oh, maybe you can. So here is my cone. 
So now I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint the cone. I'm going to use the watercolors again because I I had those out already. And I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way here. Issa's already going to her scoops and she's putting little things on her scoops. Um, I might do something different, but we'll see. So you can paint this whatever color you want with the watercolors and the, the only thing with the watercolors and using this kind of cardboard, you need them to be wet, but at the same time, you don't want, it's kind of a happy medium with the um, cardboard because you don't want it to turn too mush, but kind of something like that, okay? So have fun with your colors and try not to wet overly saturate it. He said, you need to use a different color. Use a brighter color. You're getting yours too wet. I'm not doing mine red. You're getting it too wet. Do it a different color of orange. I'm using orange on mine. This isn't red, it's orange. It just looks red on here. Or pick a different color completely. Try not to have any more water on your brush though. So here's my cone. See how cool that looks with the crayon? Okay, so I'm gonna put that to the side so it can dry. You're not, what color are you using? You need to get up and do a different, like you're not putting enough water in your, on your brush. You've got to really get in there, okay? And your cardboard is already brown, okay? So do that all the way across. So now I'm going to do some stuff with my scoops here. And I might go in with some of my temper sticks first and then put the color. These temper sticks are awesome because you can layer them you can layer other colors. You can do them underneath other kinds of paints. You can do them on top. They're just a lot of fun. And sometimes they'll resist also just a little bit differently though than the, uh, than the um, crayons do. Nobody's watching us. We lost everybody. Yeah, that's okay. This is my cone. That's fine. That oh, looks good. I'm going to do some little sprinkles here. You said dad was watching. I guess he logged off. Yeah. Most logged off. So I'm just doing some stuff on my cardboard like I did on the cone. And then we're going to put some paint on top of the cone also. I mean on top of the scoops also. Um... Think about the colors that you're using with your scoop so it not so it kind of pops a little bit and you're not using all the same colors for everything. You're stealing your vibrant purple. I picked three different colors from ice cream scoops. I have a a pink one and a purple one and a blue one. So very colorful ice cream. You said that's too much water on there. It is. Yeah. Those are never going to stick together. 
getting too heavy with the water. And we're not gonna run the blow dryer anymore, so don't repeat again. Ooh, two people watching. Hey, if you just joined us, we're making some fun little ice cream cones. But if you missed the beginning, this will be posted so that you can go back to it whenever you, whenever you want to, to kind of see what I've done already. This is kind of a quicker project. probably blow dry these in between if you're using this they'll end up things will stick better to them but this cone is pretty much dry already so it does dry pretty quick as long as we're not getting too crazy with the watercolor paint if that's what you're using I'm gonna go back over with my temper stick and just add some highlights here and there And some of these tempers have some sparkle to them, so that's always fun. Okay. So, the other things you could add to this are tapes. Like, if you didn't do this waffle pattern with the crayon, you could paint it, then let it dry, and then do a cross... Um, a cross hatch pattern with some tapes that would be super fun and I might do a few on here on mine because I have some really skinny washi tape just to add a little bit of a little bit of something to it so I'm gonna take a few and add them If I can get these off. I don't love these washi tapes that have the backs on them. They are, they don't cooperate sometimes. Just to fix that, the whole guard on it. The clips on them um, are dry. So do you want to do some more? Yeah. I'll show y'all what I'm doing. I'll hold it up in just a minute. Y'all's queen. Y'all's queen. tapes. These little skinny ones. They do not want to cooperate. So let me have another one. Oh, here's one that I don't have to do this with. So I'm going to go back with a different color here. Oh, 
So I just added some tapes to mine. So I don't know if I'm gonna go all the way um, down with it. It will take me a really long time, but I'm gonna put one more long one here. So once you have it all painted and decorated how you want it, you can kind of put them together. So you're going to start with the biggest one first, obviously. You want to put some glue down. You could do a whole lot more with these. Like if you have glitter, you could color these with glitter. I am going to go back and I have all of these fun little sparkly jangles and buttons and things. So I am going to add some of those on there. But if you had glitter, you could sprinkle some glitter on there. So all you need for the first one, you need to put your glue down at the bottom like that. And you want it to kind of overlap your cone. So you'll have to hold it down for a bit, but it should stick all right and kind of get it off the back. I'm gonna come back to it tomorrow while we get it straight. Okay. And then you're just gonna repeat that all the way up with your scoops. Here's what I have so far. Can y'all see that? I put my little cherry up there. Now you can take your little sprinkles if you wanted to, whatever you have laying around, and you can add some little, little shine to it. Or you could leave it just like this. I think it looks cute just the way it is. But I'm going to go ahead and add a few in there. I have to color my chair. I'm going to try to use all round ones that look like sprinkles. But... You guys have fun with it and you do whatever whatever I jumps out at you. Jump off. This guy is orange. I'll hold this up in just a second to show you what I'm doing. People keep coming and going. Yeah. Well, I posted this at the last minute today, so. Mm -hmm.
right. So here is mine. I'm gonna go back over with some white again. You can use a white crayon also, but I already started with these, so I'm gonna go back one more time just to kind of get that edge effect. So here is mine. Y'all can go as far with this as you want to. There's no, no limit to how much you could add to this, really. Um, Y'all have fun with it. But here is mine. And I might finish those black, that black tape, but I may leave it. I don't know, it wasn't cooperating. So anyway. That's kind of today's project. Just a fun little thing, like I said, just to kind of help get through the day. Um, it's got a lot of fun layering and color to it. So hopefully y'all have some of the stuff around the house. Um, I, um, I'll continue some of these classes next week as well. Um, I also am uh, starting some Zoom classes as well. If anybody's interested in doing a group Zoom class or a private lesson, um, feel free to message me. Um, I would love to work with your kids um, during this time. Um, but um, if you're interested in doing that at all, then feel free to reach out to me and we can discuss times and things like that. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed this project today. I'll take some pictures of our final pieces here and I will um, send them to you. Here's Issa's. No, 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 don't pick it up. It's fine. There's Issa's, it came out cute too. All that glue will dry. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I will, post some, enjoyed. I will post some pictures of the finish. If y'all ended up creating this, then send me your pictures, um, and I hope y'all have a great weekend. Um, everybody stay safe and healthy.